everybody. <laughs> I got some explaining to do. So welcome back to the channel. My name is Camsley, but you can call me Cam. And today we're doing the 100 baby challenge. And I recorded, I mean, I didn't record. That's the problem. I started, I thought I hit record and I didn't. Anyway, we're trying for a baby with Nina right now. It's literally like right where we left off. Um, so sorry, <laughs> I wish I could go back and do it, but it was only like five minutes. It was just like inviting Nina over. But anyway, all that being said, welcome back to one, the 100 baby challenge. Eve is getting ready to get pregnant with baby number three. Let's see if she was successful. Uh, as a quick recap, we have little baby Sable, who is the child we have with Don Lothario. And then we have Sienna, who is a child who was a toddler in the last episode and we hustled. Uh, she's now a child and she is our child with Faiz Jaleel. Heck yes, we are pregnant right out the gate. Thank you so much, Nina. You can go. <laughs> She's happy for us, at least. I hope this baby has red hair. That would be great. I would love a little redhead baby. What we need to do is first we need to figure out who is... <gasps> oh no, Dominique and Camille died. They were elders. Hmm... Hopefully someone else takes over the charity paintings that we sell. Yeah, we do need to find another baby daddy. So we have Dominique, who we know a little bit. We have Mortimer, who we started flirting with, but I kind of want to go to his house and introduce myself to Bella instead. I think that'd be super fun. Okay, let's feed the baby. You have school today. Are you excited? First day of school for Sienna. So we're going to make sure she is ready to go. Oh wait, not bath. That'll take too long. She'll go to the bathroom, take a shower. Get some breakfast. School for Sienna starts in one hour. First day of school. So proud of her. Oh, she wants to meet new sibling too. Okay, come get some breakfast. Looks like mac and cheese. You know what? We love some good leftover mac and cheese for breakfast. Oh, Eve, you are in the way. How about you go take a shower? What do you think, Sienna? The first of many. Uh-huh. Oh, she's happy. Oh, good. I'm glad because if you weren't, then that was gonna be a big problem. <laughs> Oh no, Eve, you better clean that up. <laughs> clean that up, go to the bathroom. And then Sienna's off to school. Where is she? I'm missing it. There she goes. There she goes with her little backpack. Have a good day. What do we have? Should I maybe cook some more food? What do we got going on? Yeah, I'm gonna like make some breakfast as well. Let's do a fruit salad. And oh, I should hang the, the birth certificate on the wall, shouldn't I? There we go. All right, and then I think I might just go to Mortimer's house and see if I, he can introduce us to his lovely wife, Bella. Look, speak of the devil, I did become friends with Nina Caliente. Thank you, Mortimer. Can I come over to your house later? I wish there was like a, cause you can invite to hang out. I wish there was like a, can I come to your place option. That'd be fun. Baby is happy. So now we are going to, I think this is allowed. Like I know I just can't like have other people take care of the baby. But like, how else am I gonna meet meet men? I have to go out, right? I think that's fine. I feel like I've seen other people play this challenge and they've gone out. Although I could just like come down here and see. I guess I could do that too. But I really want to have a baby with Bella next. Yeah, no, I'm gonna go introduce myself to Bella at the very least. <gasps> Look who it is. Hello, Bella. Fancy, um, <laughs> fancy running into you meeting, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Bella goth makes us nervous. She's gorgeous. And I don't feel bad about flirting with her because her husband text messaged us and was like, I have a major crush on you, let's go out. And again, it's the 100 baby challenge. Everyone is fair game. <laughs> Should we do a bold pickup line? Is Mortimer even here? He's probably inside somewhere. It's probably good that we're doing this outside. Oh, she's using the future cube. Maybe she's like, should I go? Oh no, oh no. Don't do whatever you're about to do with Nina. Where's that at? Oh, probably over there. Okay, she didn't see. I was worried she just saw me flirting with Bella. <laughs> okay, we have done what we needed to do. So let's go ahead and head home. We'll be seeing you again very soon, Bella. Thank you so much. Also, I'm using a new reshade. It's not like drastically different from the one I'm using. It is just like brighter. I'll link it in below. I mean, I always have my reshade and G shades, whatever I'm using linked in the description below. Um, so if you guys are interested, I do, I did tweak it just for my own personal 
you know, the settings on my computer and what they are and everything. So it might look a little bit different than if you use it, but yeah, I hope you guys like it. I think I wanted something just a little bit brighter. I still like the more warmer tones though, so it works really well for me. Oh, what did we get from the mail? Oh, we got a toy, perfect. Okay, so now I think, let me pause really quick before I'm scared she's gonna just start painting. So I think today our goal is gonna be to get the fertile reward trait. So let me pop back over to the master painter thing and maybe we'll just like knock out some paintings today. What else do you want to do? Freshen up in the mirror and listen to summer strut music. We can do that. Let's go home, let's get maybe a radio and we'll freshen up and then we'll paint and it'll be great. Oh, and then Sienna should be home by then. So that'll be perfect. Look who it is. Oh, she had a great day. Look at the little rainbow. She's feeling focused because she had a productive school day. She's getting good grades. Uh, she has quality education because we live near schools. Oh, the baby. How about you just go work on your homework? Mom will take care of the baby. So go get started on your homework, girl. How are we doing? So we need to get, she's a B student. Oh my God. If we get her skills to level four, she could literally be a teen this episode. I feel like that's too soon. I feel like I don't want her to be a teen yet. I want her to be a child for a couple episodes. So <laughs> I'm not, I'm gonna let her do her own thing and she'll like get those skills up when she's ready. Mom, where are you? You gotta hurry up. Mortimer, is this because I was talking to Bella? Listen, you know what this is. If you wanna have a baby with me too, I'm sure I can squeeze you in, but like, come on. We both know that out of the two of you, not that you're not handsome, but out of the two of you, if I want some goth jeans in this family pool, it's gonna be Bella, right? All right, come freshen up in the mirror. Oh wait, I was gonna get a little stereo too. Hold on. Oh, this one would be cute. Let's see, we could maybe just put it over here. There we go. And then we wanna listen to what music? Summer strut music, perfect. Okay, turn on. Where is it? Summer strut, there we go. How about you let your mom take care of the baby, Sienna? How about you come clean up and play? Maybe I'll play around with you when I'm done taking care of the baby. One second. Change your diaper. Okay, so then we want to mentor child. Okay. And view a piece of art. So if I paint art and then I view it, that works, right? But we'll play we'll play a round of this with Sienna when we're done with the baby here. <gasps> the festival of light. Ugh. That would be fun to go to. I feel like once I have like a full house, I'll start taking the kids to those little Mount Komorebi festivals because those are really fun and very kid friendly. Oh, Sienna won. Nice work. How about we come do a painting though real quick. Come do a medium impressionist painting. What are we painting? Oh, looks like we're painting another house. She's dreaming, dreaming of her dream house. Again, it's a red house. So I feel like whenever we get to the point where I'm ready to kind of like bulldoze this and build the dream house, we gotta do like a red house situation. This looks pretty fun. Looks pretty nice. Maybe we should just go to a museum. Would that be weird if we went to a museum really quick? We can say, Sienna, watch the baby. Oh, never mind. I gotta take care of the baby real quick. What does the baby need? To be rocked. Okay. Level six parenting skill already. Okay, Sienna. You watch the baby, mom's gonna go look at some art pieces in a museum and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got to admire some paintings. View, view, view. She's so tired. She's like, why am I here? Listen, you deserve to treat yourself a little bit. Okay, we did it. Okay, wait, we can buy it. Oh my gosh, this might change what we have now to twins. I don't know if that's how that works, but we are now gonna get the fertile reward trait. So fertile sims have an easier time when trying for a baby and a higher chance of twins or triplets. Whoops, why did I just do that? There we go. All right. We might start having some multiples now. All right, head home. Who's here? Oh, Dawn is here. I heard him like yelling. All right. Okay, girl, that's enough dancing. How about we go to bed? Let's parenting influence to sleep and then we will also go to bed pro tip if you need to like get your parenting skill up the influence child to do stuff gets it up very quickly i know this because it's the only way i survived the gray gen of the not so berry challenge <laughs> thank you sienna good night i'm also going to bed 
Santa. She was like, yep, no problem, mom. Waits until mom gets in bed. Does not go to bed. Go to sleep. All right, it's 3 a.m. We did not get the sleep we need, but maybe Sable needs some attention. And our needs are also kind of horrendous, so maybe we'll just have like, I don't know, we'll go back to bed after this. Let's mop this. I don't want her to like, that's so gross. Walking through that. Look, you can see like her slipper is in the puddle. That makes me so uncomfortable just thinking about. Like wet socks. Oh, that's the worst. It's the worst. Oh my God, Sable, mom just went back to bed. You just need, listen, if you were a regular baby, I would take care of it, but mom needs sleep. <laughs> so just hang out for a second and then we'll take a little shower. What do we want to do? We want to play in a jungle gym. Maybe we'll go to a park later. So do that and then maybe take a little shower. Okay, I guess we should get mom up. How about you come and um, I need to get more stuff for her to do. Hold on, let's get more stuff for the kids to do. Okay, there we go. I was gonna get a like swing set, but then I was like, wait, we still don't have our little TV area. So went ahead and got the little TV. Oh gosh, she's running. I guess, hold on, when does Sable, oh, Sable ages up today. Okay, perfect. Maybe after Sable ages up, we'll go to the park together. Cause then I can take them both and we can get her um, perfect, she's playful right now. And we can get her next level of her aspiration. We don't have to complete the kids' aspiration to age them up, but I think it'd be fun to work on. Oh, okay, when I grow up. I want to be a ninja when I grow up. What do I need to do to, now to start getting ready for being a ninja when I'm a grown up? We can either tell her to start practicing her hiding, which affects her emotional control, or get a ninja outfit, which affects her empathy. I think we'll tell her to start practicing her hiding. That's okay. Responsibility is easy to get up. Yeah, I actually don't know if we're going to go to the park today, Sienna. We might have to wait until we go to the park tomorrow, because if this baby ages up, like, after night, then... <laughs> I'm not going to take my toddler or my child to the park in the middle of the night. This is the bummer of her having aged up so quickly. Like, she doesn't have any siblings to play with, so she's always like, Mom! But Mom is sometimes busy. Wait, you know what we could do? Hold on. She could just run down and go swim at the beach. Hold on. Yeah. How about you go to the bathroom? And then go, oh, I guess it's night now though. Shoot. Well, you could just come like maybe build a sand sculpture. That could be fun. Maybe when I redo the house, I'll do a little sand pit area so we can just do that at home. But oh gosh, you broke the toilet. Mom needs the toilet to be fixed always. Go repair that please. Now that it's 9 p.m., how about you leave the house and go do something? <laughs> She's like, see ya. Off to have her own little adventure. All right, we'll check in with you in a second. Oh my God, there it is. Okay. All right, we'll go to the park tomorrow, but right now we're gonna age up this baby into a toddler. Here we go. <gasps> Sable aged up. She is independent. We love to see it. Oh, she's got our blonde hair. Cute. Cute. All right, let's go take a look at Sable and Cass and give her a quick little makeover. All right, here is little Sable. I decided to keep the hair that she aged up with. I thought it was cute. And the little bow, I think is also very cute. I know it's blue and not really the Sable color. And then I didn't have a ton of like dark, cute brown things for toddlers. So maybe when she's a kid, we'll go more into like the dark brown side of Sable. But Sable can also be like, a shade so dark brown that it's black. So I went, I decided to go black for most of her clothes. So here is her every day, her little sleep shirt, her hot weather and her cold weather. So I think she's pretty cute. Our little goth baby, although she has blonde hair, which is I think cute, I like it. All right, well, let's go ahead and pop back into the game. Uh, Sable is hungry, so let's eat, have her eat and then she can go to bed. Uh, Sienna, how are you doing? She's <laughs> 10 o'clock at night, but gosh dang it, she is making this sandcastle. Soon you'll have a sister that will do this stuff with you, I promise. <laughs> All right, and then we are tired. I don't think we ever got like a full sleep or rest or anything. So I'm gonna send mom to bed and I will be on baby duty tonight. Did you eat? Well done. All right, how about you go to bed? And then we'll go hang out with Sienna. We'll finish up our, our sand castle. <laughs> I 
and then we'll go home and go to bed. What skill is she getting? Creativity? That's great. Look at that! Oh my god! She's so talented. All right, head on home and go to bed, and I will see y'all in the morning, and we're gonna have a park day with our girls. Okay, good morning. It is officially fall. We got a potty train. Oh wait, no, she's independent. She can do it herself. Go potty, girl. Let's go, Sable. She's like, give me a minute. She's like me when my alarm goes off. She's like, I know, but just let me lay here for a second. <laughs> Collect my thoughts. No, no, you can do it yourself. You're so talented. Don't put Sable down there. Don't, oh my gosh. I hate when the Sims like interrupt toddlers. Go potty. You can do it. You can do it yourself. Why are you asking mom for help? You're an independent baby. No, put her down. <laughs> put her down. Go over here and go potty. Put her down. Oh my God, Eve. All right, we're over here. Go potty. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, okay. What were we doing? Were you eating? Sure, you can watch her go. She's an independent kid though. You gotta give her some space. Okay. So we'll get everyone's needs taken care of and then we will head, I think to the little beach lot here. I don't think I have anything there right now. I think it's this one. Yeah, so maybe I'll find like a cute little beach park and I'll put it down. That way we can kind of stay in the same world. I like to do that for the most part whenever I can just for the added realism, but. All right, and then where are we at with our pregnancy? Okay, so maybe tonight or tomorrow morning is when we'll give birth, something around there. All right, I think everyone's needs are in the green. We're good to go. Oh, mom, you're hungry again. You know what, you can eat at the park. I'll get you like a cooler. All right, let's go. Okay, so this is not great. <laughs> I'm really bad at building like outdoor park and community lots, but I'll probably come in here later and just put stuff down. Um, where did my child go? Where is she? Oh my God. I did not even, this whole time, I'm like, let me put all this stuff down. There's one right here. Oh my God, she's meeting a child. That child is missing hair. Oh my gosh, I put all this, I could have just had her just come here on her own. I didn't need to build this at all. You're gonna use the one that I built, so come play over there. <laughs> Okay, and then how about we play with Sable in the kiddie pool? That could be fun. There we go. Splish, splish. I feel like we should change into like our beach clothes. Hold on. There we go, that'll work. Okay, we're gonna introduce ourselves to this child, Ryder Walters, and then, oh my God, it's Brittany Cho. She haunts me. She's everywhere. Okay, Brittany, you're really interrupting everything. So I need you to leave. Somehow Brittany is everywhere I go. Oh my God, is Santa the lifeguard? <laughs> well, you know, seasonal jobs. He'll be busy in the winter, but for right now he needs, you know, a good summer and fall gig. So <laughs> he's just, <laughs> he's the lifeguard. Hell yeah, okay, we nailed it. She's playful. Come play, come play while you're playful. Stop talking and play. There we go, there we go. Heck yeah. All right, how about you come introduce yourself to Marcus? And we also have Baco and Bjorn over here. But let's start with Marcus. Ask about his day. Where is, where are you going? How about maybe you come like, go down the slide instead of wherever you are going. <laughs> Sable, she is an independent toddler, but I need you to turn around and go back that way. Thank you. Play as sea monster. Wait, cute. Yeah, play as a sea monster. Come on, Eve. <laughs> She's playing with the kids. That's cute. Perfect. Okay, Sable, you got this. You can do it. Independent girl. She's just sitting. She's just, you know, it's the climb. She's getting the bird's eye view. Is she gonna go back down and then climb back? She is, oh my God. <laughs> Come on, girlfriend, you got this. It's, you know, slides can be tricky sometimes, so we need to give her a minute. There we go, up she goes. There we go. Let's do it, let's go. Oof, 
Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I think we're going to go ahead and head home. We got what we needed. I will probably redo this off camera because I'm not happy with it. <laughs> and I might make it more of just a beach beach since there's like literally playground equipment right here that I somehow missed, but we'll see. We'll go home. All right, how's everyone doing? Mom is the worst off. She is pregnant, so that's fair for her. All right, everyone kind of meet your needs. How about you come here and maybe get some uh, food and then go to bed? Um, I'm gonna give you, how about this, some eggs and toast. There we go. What do you need? You're doing fine, honestly. You did your homework, right? I'm pretty sure you did. Yeah, okay. I kind of want to see if we can have the baby, this, the next baby this episode. So I'm kind of just gonna run the clock and see when we can make that happen. <laughs> That's a nice painting. I like that one. Let's do one more and then we'll go to bed. Actually, no, we'll just go to bed since I'm trying to run out the clock anyway. All right, and then you can go to the bathroom, get some leftovers and then go to bed. Perfect. Okay, we are in labor. We are in labor, folks. It is time. We're gonna finish this episode off with a baby, maybe two, who knows? A caliente baby, let's go. Hello, doc, it's me again. Good to see ya. I'm gonna go check in, but I know the drill. I'm a professional at this point. <laughs> baby number three, I'm a professional. <laughs> what do we think we're having? Last chance to guess. Another girl. <laughs> we're just gonna have a house full of women. I love it. Okay, let me open a previous video. Okay, so this baby name is coming from Izuku Midoriya. Midoriya, I hope I said that right. I apologize if I didn't, but um, they suggested some great names for boys and girls since we had a girl. I'm picking from that list and I think we're gonna go ahead with the baby name Jade. Thank you so much for the name suggestions. We're just one baby. Okay, Whew. we can handle that in our tiny house. All right, baby Jade. Uh, so here is the color Jade. I'll put it on the screen now. So this will be the color theme for this baby. I'm excited. I think it'll be nice to add up some more greens and some blues. All right, I'm gonna pause. She's so happy with herself. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> all right, we are going to end the episode here. We have three babies, all of them girls. We now have the fertile trait, so we should be getting twins and triplets more often, but not every single time, which I think will be perfect for me because sometimes when you just have like twins and twins and twins and then triplets, just one after the other, it gets to be too much. So I'm happy to have them occasionally to help us out. Um, and I think that with one more baby, with three kids, I feel pretty good about staying in the tiny house. I think once we have our fourth, we may have to um, get rid of the tiny lot and just bump up to a normal residential house, but we're gonna use it for what we can now. Next episode is gonna be all about getting Sable, her skills leveled up as quickly as we can. I didn't really do much that this episode, I guess I could have, but I wanted to have a fun beach day with the girls. So that's what we did. Um, yeah, so anyway, that is the end of this episode. I will see you guys all in the next one very soon. As always, please leave your baby name suggestions down in the comments. Anything that is like related to a color or anything artistic or whimsical around those vibes. I'm mostly choosing color names now just because I, I like the idea of color theming all the, all the kids. So uh, that's what I'm mainly looking for, but I'm gonna run out eventually. So if you have other ideas, by all means, please put them in there. So. All that being said, thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.